Hey gang. Well, before we get to the video, a lot of people have asked me to um, demonstrate my rig for striper fishing for drifting minnows. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go over it piece by piece. This is a sinker. I like to use these teardrop sinkers. They work pretty well. They don't hit the bottom as hard. They seem to drag over things a little better. Better than the cannonball. So I like those. I like about a 8 to 12 inch dropper. It's not highly critical to get it exactly, you know, what it, whatever length. But, um, now about, you know, 8 to 12 inches. I wouldn't go over 12 inches uh, up here the way we're drifting. Uh, down the delta they do, but, you know, it's a different situation. Up here, I'd say about 8 inches minimum, 12 maximum. Now, when you're tying them, what I like to do is tie a double surgeon's knot. Because it's not a real strong knot, you know, so you want it to break, you know, uh, if anything goes, you want it to break and lose your sinker instead of losing your hook and your minnow, especially with the price of minnows these days. And then I, I, what I'll do is I'll measure out about 15 inches and then I'll cut it and then I'll tie another uh, surgeon's knot on the end over here and uh, that'll do it for my dropper. Now my hooks. What I like to do is, uh, I like about a 36 inch leader on my uh, minnows. You don't really want too long. You don't want to get too short either. You want it to be kind of somewhere in between, which is about 36 inches will do it. What I do is I tie on my hook, I measure out 36 inches, and then I tie a knot on the end. Now on the hook end, I tie a Palomar knot. I've heard a lot of people say that you know, don't use a palomar knot. You need to use a loop knot because that way the middle swim is more, you know, normal. It, it, it looks funny if you tie a, a, any other knot. Well, that's not true. Obviously, they haven't done any experimentation on it because I've tied a palomar knot on a minnow. I've tied a um, loop knot on another minnow, dropped them in the water, washed them both, and it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So, obviously, they, they didn't research it at all. But besides that, even if it did swim different, you want it to. Because there, you know, if you had a thousand minnows out there and one minnow was swimming funny for some reason, which one's the bass going to hit? It's going to hit that one that's wounded or swimming funny. So, you know, if it did make a difference, you'd want it to. Now, on the other end, I do tie a loop knot simply because every time a, a leader breaks, uh, it always seems to want to break more at the hook, the upper end. So I uh, I tie on a loop knot up here. It's that trilene knot or whatever it was. I think it's trilene knot. I got it on my knot tying videos. Both these knots are in my knot tying videos. Actually, all three knots are. So you can go there and uh, find out how to tie them. And then what I do... So on my main line, I just tie on a regular old snap swivel on there, and I put both the leader and my sinker in the same snap swivel, like so. If you want to keep it simple. Especially for guys out there, you know, we want to keep it simple, you know, so uh, they hang up, we can rig them back up, get them back out there as fast as we can, as easily as we can. And when you're dragging along, you know, and you're dragging this, it, it doesn't matter, you know, I see people with sliders on there and do a bunch of different things, but um, use a one-aught hook. Now, some people say, you know, you want to use a smaller hook for smaller size minnows, but Again, you know, you're pulling them downstream, so uh, it's not really going to make any difference. I have pretty good luck. Now, I do like the red ones. This one happens to be gray. They were out of the red ones last time I ordered some, but I do like the red ones. So, here's a rubber fish. So, we'll demonstrate on that. What I like to do is I hold him upside down in my hand like this, and then I start it right in there, right in his bottom jaw, right in the middle. And I go all the way through and hit the roof of the mouth. Now, a lot of people like to go in the nose, come out the hole in the nose, but it comes out easier 
But the problem is if it goes in easier, it comes out easier. So, you know, uh, I don't, I don't like, I just like to go right in the center, you know, in the roof of the mouth where you get the bony part and it kind of tends to hold better that way. You do have to kind of ease it through because if you push through too hard, you can, you know, tear it out. And then you always want to be sure and have your hook in front of the eyes. Because if you get up here between the eyes and you stick the hook through, you hit him in the brain, you'll kill him. So that's about it, guys. One more thing I'd like to talk about before we get to the video is, uh, like all kids, uh, these kids that I had on my boat yesterday that are in the video, they have cell phones, just like every kid does these days. But notice how much they're not on the cell phone. They are mostly just fishing and having a good time and doing something besides looking at that screen. So, uh, take your kids fishing, parents. It'll do them a lot of good. Yes. Yeah. I know. As we were like getting out here, I felt like. <laughs> we definitely got to try salmon again on Barry Oh, yeah. I want to go fishing. You guys might ought to make a trip to Tahoe and go kokanee fish me and stampede with me. Ooh, that's like a stay over night video. Yeah. He's gonna Nadia. he's going to anyway, whether you want him to or not. I keep I keep thinking of it. You know how you you got fifty fifty chance you're wrong every time? <laughs> I know, right? You I think of it, but I still say it wrong. I was watching one of I was watching our very first fishing trip, and you called her Natalie, and then you called me Zooey. Zooey? <laughs> you were acting like a monkey that day. <laughs> Apparently I'm a zoo now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, he fell off. Real, real, real. Oh, no, I think he got off. No. Nope. Real, real. Real, real. On there. Oh, yeah, he's on there. He was just coming at you. Ah, oh, dude, no, I don't want all of them. Because I want you guys to Okay, let's see which way he's going. You might need to reel in, Nadia. Huh? Reel up. Nadia. Nadia? Nadia. He got it. Okay. No, he's passed it. All right. You got to wash yours now. So, oh, you're in. You're in, Zooey.
cookie cutters. I think it is. He got a hole in his lip. He's like, I want that minnow. Be a keeper. Real down, real down, real down, real down, real, 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 real. Oh, I got a keeper. Yeah. Oh, nice one. <laughs>
a bunch of woo girls in here. <laughs> awesome! I thought he was gonna be bigger than that, but he was—he's big enough. <laughs>